All right, everybody. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about something that happened this morning. And it was actually when I opened up the Facebook app, I noticed I had a memory from last year at this time. And it was about my trip that I took to Thailand to do a little bit of a missions trip. Now, I should probably first start off by clarifying what I mean by a missions trip. To me, a missions trip is more than just what happens when somebody goes to the missions field and does something like that. That is really just a mission. That is being a missionary to me, but a missions trip, especially a short-term mission trip like I would be talking about, is really going for any specific mission that you have, and that's all dependent on why you're going and really why God has called you to do that. Now, there were a couple different lessons that I learned there, and the first one was really just to kind of relax and take it easy, not be so stressed out or worried or concerned about the way things are going. See, here in the U.S., we are very structured, very organized, and you know, it's like we're just so obsessed with these little things. We're always watching the clock, and everything's got to be just so, and yet... That's not really how it was over there. Now, I really believe that there's kind of a happy medium between where we're at and maybe where some of that culture is because it seemed like there wasn't an urgency on a lot of things. And yet oftentimes I think we're too urgent on a lot of things and we need to just relax. And I think the second lesson that I learned on that trip was to be careful what you ask for. You know, I went on that trip and I had one prayer in mind and I was really just asking God to make me uncomfortable. I know you might be saying, Josh, why would you even consider doing such a thing? But to me, I look at the scriptures and I see that the Holy Spirit is called the comforter. And I just figured, why would I need a comforter if I'm already comfortable? But I would need a comforter when I'm uncomfortable. So God, make me uncomfortable so I need your spirit all that much more. And being uncomfortable, it's exactly what happened on that trip. I mean, from the moment that I got on the airplane to getting off the airplane and really not knowing where I was going or even who was picking me up, to then getting to that place and having to stay with somebody that I've never met before, ministering in a church last minute that I've never really been in before. And that's not even taking into consideration when a local tells me that I need to lay down and spoon with a tiger. I mean, could I get any more uncomfortable? I think what was really interesting to me about finding that post this morning is that here I am starting off 2019 and I'm thinking, what lesson am I supposed to be learning? And a lot of people will talk about how they have a word of the year that they're really supposed to be honing in and focusing on. And the funny thing is I've never really done that in the past. And so I asked God, what's the one word that you really want me to focus on here in 2019? And it really shouldn't surprise me that the one word God gave me for this year is to focus. You see, last year, focus is exactly what it took for me to get through that and to really find comfort in the Holy Spirit. I had to focus on the reason that God had sent me there. And he had really sent me there to just deliver a message of love and compassion to those people in my unique way. And that's what I did. I focused on that. I focused on the reason that he sent me. I focused on my mission. And once I did that, all of the discomfort went away. Now, how about you? Is there something specific that God's wanting you to focus on this year? Something that he's really trying to teach you or maybe guide you into? If he's already spoken to you about that thing, I would love to hear about it. So don't be afraid to just let me know down in the comments section below. And finally, I just want to encourage you to really focus in on the love of God this year. Focus in on developing your relationship with him. Focus in on putting him first, because that thing that he has called you to do will ultimately come about when you seek him first, just as Matthew 6.33 tells us. Now, I hope that blessed you and encouraged you. If it did, would you go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up? You can even share it with somebody that you think might benefit from it. And until Monday, when we upload again, I just want you to stay blessed, enjoy God's best, and have a great weekend.